All right, part two is Revelations 8. It's called The Seven Seal and the Golden Censer. Okay, this is the Life Application Study Bible NIV. So, but I'm going to read it. It says, When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven. For about half an hour. Now that's something very rare. I don't think it's ever been mentioned in here before that all of heaven was quiet. No more singing, no more praising, no more bowing down. Everything just stopped. Okay? So, when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Okay? At number three, another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar for about half an hour. I'm sorry. I misread that. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all God's people on the golden altar in front of the throne. Okay, so everybody's watching and everybody's listening. The smoke of the incense together with the prayers of God's people. Now, you know I did a, uh, y'all did an inventory on uh, the prayers. I remember I remember that, yeah, y'all did uh, an angel inventory. Okay. Together with the prayers of God's people went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there came pearls of thunder rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. All right, so what does it all mean, okay? This is, this is a Bible that goes into a little bit more detail. Okay, the angel then through, this is interpreting what I just read. The angel just, the angel then threw the censer down upon the earth. This symbolizes the judgment of God. For God released on the earth in answer to the prayers of the saints for justice for those who had oppressed and killed them. This shows that judgment, vindication, and revenge are in God's hands, not ours. Okay, so there are situations where people done did all this wicked stuff and then gone. gone. That's where the reincarnation comes in. They got to get it back. So because, you know, I, uh, April Townsend, oh, that girl, I tell you, she questions us all oh, we. Like, okay, so uh, how am I going to see my, how am I going to see them get uh, their reward, get judged, if they are already gone? And... was thinking because I, 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 some of them dead and gone some of them still here because in Psalms 91 it says only with mine eyes shall I see the reward of the wicked you know all these other people that's gone on and it looks like that they didn't suffer anything that's where reincarnation, they got to keep coming back, getting brutally killed, keep coming back, getting brutally killed, keep coming back, getting brutally killed. So, I've had some instances where people got just brutally killed. I said, wow, I wonder was that my military? Because they, they were just brutally killed. Brutally. I said, oh, wow. 
savagely killed. Like somebody went crazy on me. I said, wow. I wonder was that one of my relatives. Reincarnated. I, I got an inquiring mind. I do... Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying everybody that gets killed brutally is like that. But that's the what everything April Townsend was saying. She was like, wow, I wonder if that, if that was my relative, one of my relatives. That was, um, I guess, the epitome of evil. Yeah. So, they will get it. And you will see it, whether you up there and they down there, or they somewhere in another body, don't look like the same person. They don't, otherwise, Dad, we would be liars, but we're not. Everything we say is true, okay? It's called reaping what you sow. You don't get off that easy just because you die. Boom. Come on now. You're not getting out of this thing just because you die. Oh, no. Go back down there and get brutally ten times worse. All right, gang. Get the message out. I know you're going to do it. You've been doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Make sure you tell like everybody.